How's it going everyone? My name is George and I just want to talk about the new growing rumor that is happening. It started off on some of those sites that you got to take with a grain of salt like we got discovered.com, but now it's starting to grow into sites like comicbookmovie.com and that rumor is that Sony wants Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire to return for a Spider-Man 4, a Spider-Man 4 to the Raimi films. Now, if you recall, we were supposed to get a Spider-Man 4 many years ago. But it didn't happen because Raimi was not happy with the script that he got. And that's why they decided to reboot the franchise. Now, as far as the Raimi films go, I love the first Spider-Man film a lot. I think it's a great origin story. It's probably my third favorite origin story after Batman Begins and the first Iron Man film. Spider-Man 2 is one of my all-time favorite comic book movies of all time. Probably my third favorite. And it's one of my favorite movies in general. I just love Spider-Man 2. I think Alfred Molina was a fantastic villain. I love the Spider-Man No More arc that they go with the film. And just a great superhero movie in my opinion. One of the all-time best. Spider-Man 3, a little disappointing. It has many good moments in my opinion. Many heartfelt emotional moments. I just think if they didn't focus on stuff like that jazz club dance scene, I think it could have turned out better. And I've think if they just waited to use Venom for a Spider-Man 4, it would have turned out better. But, all in all, I enjoyed it. I love the Raimi trilogy. And I love Tony McGuire as Spider-Man. I love him as Peter Parker as well. I mean, he does both roles great. I think we've been, we've been pretty good with our live-action Spider-Man. I think Andrew Garfield was pretty good as well. I think Tom Holland's doing a fantastic job. So we've been pretty lucky. Now... This is all happening with those rumors of, oh, he could possibly appear in Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, it hasn't been confirmed yet, and I do want to touch upon more about those Spider-Man No Way Home rumors in a video this weekend. But if he is in Spider-Man No Way Home, this looks more likely to happen, a Spider-Man 4. Also, if he's in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which is going to be a multiverse film, and is also directed by Sam Raimi. Now... For this to happen, like I said, Raimi left the project originally because he didn't have a script that he liked. If he does have a script and a story that he likes, that he thinks it's good enough, then he'll do the pro project. If not, he's not going to do it. So it also depends on does Raimi have the right story. It also depends on if Toby wants to come back. Now, like I said, I don't know if he's coming back for Spider-Man No Way Home. There's been those rumors that he's been hard to sign, that he's wanted more screen time or more money. And he's also hasn't been involved in a lot of projects the last few years. He hasn't really done a lot of acting. So there's also that. But this could work. It does sound hard to believe, but I think this could work. We're seeing things like Ian McGregor and Hayden Christensen coming back as Obi-Wan and Anakin in the Obi-Wan series. We've been seeing this trend of popular pro entertainment products returning we've had it with star wars we've seen it with the x-men we're just seeing this trend of things that were popular coming back and it could happen with spider-man and ever since the jamie fox return announcement where jamie fox was announced to return as electro and then alfred molina alfred molina was announced to return as doc ock sorry it just feels like we've been seeing these rumors of, oh, there could be a Spider-Man 4 and Amazing Spider-Man 3. Now, they're coming from sites like WeGotThisCovered.com, and you got to take those sites with a grain of salt. But, now it's looking more likely. It might seem a bit confusing, because we still have the Tom Holland Spider-Man going, and while his contract does expire soon, he wants to do more. But, I also know that Sony would love to probably have... Spider-Man soul films that they have full control over because Tom Holland's movies are still Marvel Studio productions. They're still produced by Marvel Studios. Kevin Feige is still heavily involved in those films. Sony distributes those films. I'm sure they would love to have a live-action Spider-Man film under their full control again. They have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and that was a fantastic movie. I love that film. But I'm sure they would love a live-action Spider-Man film where they can probably see more money being made back under their control. And I think that's what they're seeing with this film. But if Raimi's going to return, it's not just the fact that he wants to have a good story. He doesn't want to have a, probably another problem that he had with Spider-Man 3 where 
Sony and you know some of the producers like Avi Arred were pressuring him to put Venom in the film when he didn't want to. If that happens again, Raimi's not going to probably want to do it. He wants to, I think, have more control over this film if he does return. Now, his Spider-Man 4 will probably be different than the Spider-Man 4 we almost got. As far as we know about Raimi's Spider-Man 4, the beginning was going to have lesser-known villains be taken down by Spider-Man. I think one of them was going to be Mysterio, played by Bruce Campbell. The main villain was going to be Vulture, played by John Malkovich. And the character of Felicia Hardy, who's Black Cat in the comics was going to be played by Anne Hathaway, but one of the rumors said she was going to play as a female version of the Vulture called Vultress, the Vulture's daughter. I don't know how true that is, but because on one hand, Raimi said it did happen, but then on the other hand, I think he said it didn't. I don't know. I don't know what they were going to do with that character. But that's as far as we know about Raimi's original Spider-Man 4. I don't know if he's going to do that, especially since we just recently saw Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming. And Mysterio and Spider-Man Far From Home. He might do something completely different. But, yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting if, if it's true. We got to see. We got to see if Tony Maguire is in Spider-Man No Way Home. We got to see how the reception of that is. Because the rumor suggests that they want to wait and see how Toby's well received in Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, the thing about the Raimi films that I've noticed the past few years is that Originally, in the early 2010s, people were trying to dunk on them and say, oh, they're overrated, they're outdated, they're not that good. But since the mid to late 2010s, I noticed that people were like, oh, the Raimi Spider-Man films were actually a lot better. Even Spider-Man 3 wasn't that bad. People quoting things like Pizza Time, making those memes. It's just, the popularity's grown again. So the interest of having Tobey Maguire return as Spider-Man is there. We just got to see if he's going to even be in the upcoming No Way Home and if he's going to be in the multiverse film that's being directed by Sam Raimi in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Anyway, these are my quick thoughts. I don't want to go that much more into it because I want to save some of this for the Spider-Man No Way Home rumor video. I was going to wait and actually talk about this in that video, but I feel like Spider-Man Home is a different kind of topic because this was a movie that was originally canceled now that's being brought up again. And this is one of those films that didn't happen that I would have loved to have seen happen and still want to see happen. So anyway, these are just my quick thoughts. I'm going to touch upon these more this weekend when I talk about Spider-Man No Way Home. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys real soon. I hope to keep making more content like this. Most of my content comes out on the weekend. This is just one of those rare cases where I make a video during the week. Anyways, have a great day and I hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone.